Welcome back to Gig Harbor Paddling. Today we're going to be talking about what the sport of sprint canoe is. Sprint canoe encompasses two sports, the canoe and the kayak. Many think rowing is the same thing as sprint canoe. This cannot be further from the truth. Rowing are in shelves and they row backwards. We paddle, paddling is forwards, rowing is backwards. We race in singles, doubles, and fours. We name them C1s, K1s for canoe one person, kayak one person, and they're right behind me. Here we have a sprint canoe. There are a couple factors in a sprint canoe that differentiate themselves from a sprint kayak. In the canoe, you're gonna see a cage or a knee block holder. This is a Nello 8 Cinco. So we have the Nello hardware in here. This is the Nello cage. This is where a knee block would go. Uh, this is where we put our down knee. Over here, we have our foot plate. This is where the back foot will rest. And up here is our footboard where our front foot will rest. So they will be in a lunging position every time they paddle this boat. You paddle on one side, you cannot switch sides, and switching knees is about as hard as switching hands when you're riding. This is a sprint kayak. There are two factors in a sprint kayak that most people will be familiar with. This is where our seat is. This is another Nello boat. This is the Viper 48 inch. Here we have Nello screws that can adjust forwards and backwards. Right here we have our foot brace. On the foot brace we have two things. This little red bar here is called the tiller bar. This controls the rudder in the back. This is the foot strap here. This will hold athletes feet firmly to the footboard so that they can rotate. Back here is the rudder. Kayaks have rudders, canoes do not. This controls the movement of the boat and allows athletes to go left and right. Behind us is our summer camp program. Right now we have five athletes working on their third day to get into sprint canoes. Sprint canoes traditionally take longer to get in for the initial summer camp phase than kayaks. However, after six months to a year, canoe and kayak progress at the same speed. In the distance, you can see our kayak and OC6 program out. This is included as part of our summer camp. Our OC6 is an outrigger canoe that seats six people, five kids, and a steersman. And then we have our kayak boats out there. So we have a wide range of kayak boats that are meant to be trainers. Right now, a lot of our athletes are actually in surf skis, which are a subcategory of kayaks that are fatter, more stable, and these are from Epic. Behind us, this is our first entry point into the team. Parents join our summer camps not even knowing the full scope of the sport. They are here to enjoy the water and get a taste for what canoe and kayaking is really like. From this summer camp, we send invitations to our sprint team. From there, we select kids onto our development team, which serves as a ramp onto our racing team. We divide our racing team into three sections, group one, group two, and group three. Group one is our international group. Group two competes nationally. Group three is our local competitors. Within a year of starting your program, you can have athletes competing at nationals. Within three months of athletes starting to paddle regularly, you can have them start to compete. After only a month on the water, these athletes will go to Pacific Cup at Wanak Lake in Canada to compete at their very first race. Here in Washington, we are lucky to have four to five local regattas. On top of that, our national regatta, always in the first week of August. If you're looking to start a team, go ahead and contact us and we'll send more details. To start a team, you really only need four C1s and four K1s to get a program up and running. We'd love to see the sport grow, so if you're interested in partnering up with us to build a new team, contact us at the link below.